We are going to have a run through of uh, Ruby Soho by Rancid. As you can see, I'm looking particularly pumped today with my nice purple shirt and my uh, nice comfy jumper, but it is cold outside, so, you know. Now, uh, we're in regular tuning. Uh, here's my guitar sound. I'm not sure that's loud enough. Let's fire it up. Okay, so, um, first up we start with a G. Oh, that sounds all right. Louder is always better. Okay. Let's get into it. So the riff goes as a G major chord, and we're gonna we're gonna play one and two and three and four and. Okay, so we've got three, two, zero, two, zero, zero, zero. So. And then we've got a C sus two. So you, and two and so one and two. And then we're going to switch back to G. Hit G. Hit the open D string. And then pull back. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay. And then that guitar part just plays. So G. same riff. Okay, so that being the last part. Now we kick off with the, whether you play a C3, which is basically first and major third of C major, or just a regular five, from Rancid will come around your house and say, oh, I was playing a C3, man, not a C5. Anyway, so we've got C3. One and two and three and four and. We've got quaver feel here, so we've got D5. One and two and three and four and. G5. One and two and three and four and. C5. So those four bars happen three times. So you C, G, D. Hit it hard, man. Okay, then we get G. Now, we've got G. One and two and. So we're going to hit on the end. One and two. Okay, that's basically G. B5, C5, G. That goes around and then we get to the guitar solo, which is always the best bit, right? So we've got a C here. From this, you could go if you were feeling fancy, or you could just play that and let the bass do it. So. So we've got C, B flat, C, B flat, C, and then C, B flat, C, B flat. So we've got one and two and three. Whoops. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then you've got a bit of Chuck Berry kind of vibe going. Now, with this kind of stuff, usually you put your finger, your thumb on the back of the neck when you're playing chords. But when we're going to play some lead stuff, we're going to try and put it over here so we can bend against the thumb. Alright, so we're going to go. So basically we're bending this note C to a D, and then we're going to strike a D and a G. So it's going to go one and two. Just that. 
Yeah, so you can start off by going slowly. And then... Okay, awesome, that's it.